Certainly the warmth in her voice, the compassion in her eyes, and the manner in which Denise presented herself. She came across the TV as someone you really trusted and a person that could get you through the toughest stories. You know that she knows what she's talking about. You know that she knows the market. She knows the news. And it's someone that you can trust. Now, while she won countless awards, including a number of Emmys, Quinnipiac University awarded Denise an honorary degree six years ago for her incredible career. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane has more on the journalist people admired and always, always looked up to as a mentor. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. For more than 33 years, Denise DeCenzo came into your home every night. And whether you were sitting down to eat dinner or getting ready to go to bed, she delivered the news, both good and bad, with a reassuring presence and a calming voice. I think she leaves a, a legacy of trust in the news media. Ben Bogardis, an assistant professor of journalism at Quinnipiac University, says that legacy goes hand in hand with her longevity. For someone, especially of her talent, to decide to make a life in Connecticut and stay here for 30 years and then stay at one station is really rare. And it shows uh, basically her love for the community, her love for the state, and her love for the station and the viewers. In 2013, Denise received an honorary doctorate from Quinnipiac and delivered the commencement address, telling graduates to be open, to be brave, and to be kind. If you're beginning your career as a teacher, a journalist, a business person, a medical professional, a scientist, a social worker, why not be a kind one? Wherever you go from here, set an example by doing your job and living your life with kindness. Be kind and you will be more at peace with the world. And Bogarda says that kindness was something viewers easily picked up. TV can often be a hard business in the sense that we're covering bad news, we're covering death, we're covering destruction. But she really had a way of putting people at ease. Oh, through an undeniable warmth that simply radiated through your television screen. The way that she reached through that television and talked directly to the person at home. She was talking in a studio with lights and cameras pointed at her, but Watching at home, you'd never know that. It seemed like she was talking directly to you. And that's because for so many years, to so many viewers, Denise was doing exactly that. With the Mobile Newsroom in Hamden, Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.